uh, Stellarium software. Okay, so as you can see right now, the date is on 20th, 6, 2020. That's on Saturday at uh, 8, 6, 15, 6, 19 p.m. So tomorrow is going to be the eclipse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate the time to go to tomorrow. And first, I'm going to change the place. So right now, it's in it's showing Chennai. But uh, in Chennai, it's going to be a partial eclipse. So let's probably see the partial eclipse and then probably move to another place. So let me simulate the time. So as you see, I have, I have run the time and uh, sun rises. So let's see the sun from the time it rises. OK. So you can see the moon on the sun right now. So the moon is obscuring the sun a little. OK. So let's see. I'm going to be tracking the sun. So this we could get a clear view of the sun. So let me run the time. So as you see. Uh, I'm not able to see, you know, a, a great eclipse. So let me go back. Probably we'll, we'll just see if we could see something out of it. Okay. So this is when the eclipse is. So if I'm going to zoom in, so this is what we are going to be seeing. So we can see the sun and we can see the moon. Uh, this is a partial eclipse. So whatever you're going to see from uh, Chennai is going to be a partial eclipse. So let me slowly move the time. So this is the corona of the sun. So this is the partial eclipse. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simulate the time from Sessa. Sessa is one of the places where we are going to find the full solar eclipse. So I'm going to go to my location window. I'm going to type Sessa in India. Okay. Same time, it's, it's right now showing 1.11. So let me go back. Bring the time back to 1033. Okay. Let's go to the southeast Okay. Here is the sun. Okay. 1030. I think 1010 is when the eclipse would start. So let's just see what time the eclipse starts. Okay. Let me zoom in. So you can see the moon and the sun clearly. So. Ten ten, the eclipse has started. You can see the moon clearly passing over the sun and creating an obscure path. I hope from this location you'll be able to see the uh, annular solar eclipse where uh, okay, the, where the moon creates a, a ring of fire eleven fifty eleven fifty five is when the annular solar eclipse is gonna happen. So it's ten forty eight right now. Okay, eleven fifty two let me of the time slowly so that we can see the Bailey's beams. Okay. Okay. So what you are seeing right now, this point is the Bailey's beams. It's the Bailey's beams. So as soon as the Bailey's beams are filled up, we'll be able to also spot the diamond ring. So this is the Bailey's beams.
okay the annular solar eclipse has started you can see the moon completely obscuring the sun when you are finding when you are you know seeing this from uh, earth this is how it would look like this is called the Bailey's beats and the solar eclipse is over in 11.56 that's it as time flies by the moon's shadow would move away so we'll just check how this appears from the moon also so here I'm going to choose the planet as the moon. Let's zoom out. Okay, here's the atmosphere. I think Earth would be in the west direction. Okay, so here is Earth. So this is actually from moon we are seeing Earth. So let us track Earth. Okay. As you see at 1030, moon's shadow is in India. So let's run it a little faster. You can see the moon's shadow moving across. Let me fast forward, let me you know reverse the time so that we can see how the moon's shadow is moving. Okay, one more time. Let's see. Where the moon's shadow is moving, crosses the Middle East and then goes to North India and then moves over to China, I believe. Okay, so this is how the shadow would look like on Earth. So, this is what is called as the solar eclipse, what we have been studying so far. So, last stop, let us go to the sun and see how the solar eclipse would look like from the sun. So we are right now here at the sun. Let me find Earth. Uh, somewhere here. As you see, as you zoom into Earth, we could find the moon in perfect conjuncture over here. So let me let me you know simulate the time. Again, the time would be different for the sun. So let's let's see. You can see this is when the lunar solar eclipse is happening. So let me take it forward one more time. You can see the moon's shadow falling on Earth. So this is called as the solar eclipse. So zoom in. You can see how the moon's shadow falls over Earth. Let me you know, reverse the time so that you can see it a lot clearer. So this time the solar eclipse, the annular total solar eclipse is, this is the, uh, we can also see the shadows here. Okay, so the moon's shadow right now currently falling over land is the umbra and the peripheral shadow which you know affects both sides of uh, the moon from there you can see the partial solar eclipse is the penumbra okay okay so hope you enjoyed the session uh, the as i told you the best way to see the uh, solar eclipse is by using a pinhole uh, camera so do not look at the solar eclipse uh, with your naked eyes you can either use a solar eclipse glass or use a, a solar filtered uh, telescope or binocular if you don't have that then probably you can make a pinhole uh, camera and uh, see the solar eclipse and enjoy the solar eclipse with your family okay? thank you so much